clash with teens over hotel knock and run prank. Cycling superstar Matthew Vanderpoel was reportedly arrested overnight in Sydney for confronting a group of teenagers who repeatedly knocked on his hotel door. A 27-year-old Dutch cyclist was reportedly charged with two counts of common assault over the incident, and remarkably, he subsequently resigned from the men's road race at the World Championships less than an hour into the race. The puncher is a multiple cyclocross world champion and has also won a stage on the Tour de France and Giro d'Italia, and was widely viewed as one of the favorites for the 266.9 km World Championship road race in Wollongong. But his trip to Australia unraveled after a confrontation with a pair of teenagers at the Grand Parade Brighton Le Sands in Sydney. It's true, yes, Vanderpoel said, for Sparsa. There was a small dispute, it was about noisy neighbors and they are quite strict here. I wasn't back in my room until 4 o'clock, that's certainly not ideal. It's a disaster, but I can't change anything anymore. I am trying to make the best of it. I went to bed early and many children in the hallway of my room found it necessary to knock on the door continuously, Vanderpoel added. After a few times I was done with it. I didn't ask so nicely to stop. Then the police were called and I was taken. A statement from the New South Wales Police said, about 10.40 p.m., Saturday, September 24, 2022, a man was at a hotel on the Grand Parade, right in the sands, when he was allegedly involved in a verbal altercation with two teenage girls, aged 13 and 14. It's further alleged a man then pushed both teenagers, with one falling to the ground and the other being pushed into a wall causing a minor graze to her elbow. Hotel management were notified of the incident who then called police. Officers from St. George Police Area Command attended and arrested a 27-year-old man shortly after. He was taken to Pogara Police Station and charged with two counts of common assault. He was granted conditional bail to appear at Sutherland Local Court on Tuesday, September 27, 2022. Vanderpoel denied he pushed the children. He told the Spars a website that he became annoyed by the disturbances so confronted the girls. The incident happened hours after inspirational Dutch cycling star Annemiek van Vluten produced one of the bravest sporting performances ever witnessed in Australia when she won the women's road race at the UCI World Road Cycling Championships, riding with a broken elbow. Wincing in pain, the 39-year-old caught her younger rivals napping when she sprinted into the lead less than 500 meters from the finish of the 164 kilometers race from Helensboro to Wollongong then held onto Pip Belgium's Lodico Becky and Italy's Sylvia Persico by less than a second. Already a multi-world champion and Olympic gold medalist, Van Vluten couldn't believe what she had achieved. She almost withdrew from the race when she fractured her right elbow last weekend when her front tire exploded during the team time and she crashed heavily onto the pavement but courageously pushed ahead. Unable to stand up on her pedals and with only a bandage protecting her injury, she timed her run to perfection to reclaim the coveted rainbow jersey after riding through agonizing pain and a torrential storm. It was hell, Van Vluten said. I could not get out of the saddle. I had to stay seated so my legs were exploding on the climb. I still can't believe it, I'm waiting for someone to tell me it's not true. What can I say about Hanameek? Absolutely incredible, amazing, Australia's Amanda Spratt said. I could see her early in the race a few times trying to get out of the saddle and you could see it was painful. She just gets in that zone where she just manages to forget about it and, just, yeah, I'm pretty speechless. It's absolutely amazing, she's just a class act. We all knew if anyone could do it, it could be her, but we still didn't quite believe she could do it. Help us to bring you the best cycling content. Please share, like, and subscribe.